friends now we are going to take a case of comparative study a manufacturing concern or a manufacturer purchases some goods or inventory from a supplier that is existing supplier and new and one new supplier is there who has offered to supply the goods the details are as given here price per unit existing supplier supplies at rupees 12 per unit the new has offered 13 but there is a difference a considerable difference in ordering cost cost of placing an order is equal at both the places rupees 10 per unit but cost of receiving an order is rupees 20 with the existing supplier and it will be considerably low rupees 15 from the new supplier Carrying cost including capital etc per unit per year remains same because we are going to carry or hold the unit after purchasing from anywhere. So that will not change if we change the supplier. Now we require to make comparative study from which supplier it is advisable to purchase for the manufacturer or on behalf of manufacturer or as a consultant or advisor of manufacturer we need to make these calculations now first of all what is it this is CO here it is 30 here it is 25 okay now let us calculate all the things which are part of inventory policy first we are going to calculate EOQ 2 into D into CO divided by CH one thing which I forget to mention here is the annual requirement is 10,000 D is given to be 10,000 units D is given to be 10,000 units so now let us calculate everything in this case the EOQ will be under root 2 into 10,000 into 30 divided by 2 so ultimately we need to get the square root of 3 lakh that comes to 547.72 units at present the EOQ is this much number 2 n square that is number of orders or optimal number of orders per annum that is nothing d divided by q star and we believe that our ordering quantity is exactly equal to EOQ. So Q star is exactly equal to EOQ 10,000 divided by 547.72. I have already calculated all these things so that I can write it with utmost speed. It comes to 18.26 times. That means during the year, the manufacturer has to place order approximately 18 times number three we are interested is gap between two consecutive orders that is n star it is q star divided by d which is in terms of years so let us multiply it by number of working seat the working weeks are say 50 per year multiplied by weeks so that we can get answer in terms of weeks because q star divided by d gives a ridiculous answer in the in terms of year and that is very small unit of time here if we express it in terms of numbers now 547.72 divided by 10000 into 50 this is also a very small number 2.74 weeks 2.74 weeks now let us calculate TVC total variable cost because we are actually interested in calculating costs we have to make comparison of costs so that the economic or monetary effect of the change in supplier if the change in supplier takes place it should be only on the basis of monetary effect of the decision 
let us calculate total variable cost here we believe that EOQ is our ordering quantity so we can calculate the TVC directly 2 DCOCH square root 2 into 10,000 into 30 into 2 it gives rupees 1095.49 total variable cost but there is also a difference in the price offered by the two supplier so the decision should not be taken only on the basis of total variable cost but the decision should be taken on the basis of the total inventory cost so let us calculate total cost or total inventory cost that is D into C plus TVC. D is given to be 10,000 units. Cost from the existing supplier is 12 plus TVC that is 1095.49. 10,000 into 12, 120,000 or 120,000 plus 1095.49. So ultimately total cost comes to 1,21,095.49 in international terms 121,095.49 this is the cost rather total inventory cost if we continue to purchase all 10,000 units from our existing supplier now let us make calculations for the new supplier number 2 rather number 1 EOQ that will be 2 into 10,000 into 25 ordering cost has changed to so economic order quantity or optimal order size in this case is 500 units hence the n star will be somewhat easy d by q star we believe that q star ordering quantity is exactly equal to eoq and it is also suitable in this case I think very first time we have found this type of quantity otherwise it is always in terms of fraction 500 so 20 times we have to make order 20 times a year number 3 T star optimal cycle or say gap between two consecutive orders if we take the ordering quantity exactly equal to EOQ that will be Q star divided by D, it is in terms of units, let us multiply it with number of working weeks. So 500 divided by 10,000 into 50. What will it? It will be 2.5 weeks exactly. The gap between two consecutive orders will be 2.5 weeks. Now let us calculate total variable cost. 2 into D into CO into CH that will be under root 2 multiplied by 10,000 multiplied by 25 multiplied by 2 so it is square root of 1 million that comes to rupees 1000 exactly total variable comes to rupees 1000 let us calculate total cost that will be d into c 10000 units into rupees 13 plus 1000 so it comes to rupees 131000 1,31,000 which was rupees rather which is at present rupees 1,21,095.49 on 121,095 approximately so there is a difference of say approximately 9904.51 difference in total cost equals to rupees 9904.51 approximately 9905 rupees if we change the supplier we have to bear additional cost of rupees 9905 in case of this particular inventory in a factory 
many different kinds of inventories are there and in case of all such inventories these kinds of comparisons we have to make and on the basis of such comparisons we have to select our supplier if we change we will have to bear additional cost of 9905 see if we change supplier without this type of comparisons only on the basis of this attractive difference of 5 rupees per unit rather per order it will go against us we will lose this much amount from our existing profit this happens with only say error in decision making of supplier of only one inventory in a small or big factory there are various kinds of inventories so we have to be careful at the time of making such decision making because an error in decision making can cost directly as a decrease in our profit okay thank you very much